Um, Kingston College in Mitchellstown was where was the, the 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 moment that I said, you know, affect this. Um, I don't know right, if you're familiar with it. I there, think I know where it is. Yeah, there was eight. Uh, there was eight empty houses, and it was announced that the eight houses were going to be done up right. for Ukrainian refugees. And and at the time, I knew of a family from Mitchellstown yeah. all their lives who could not get a home. They could not get a house anywhere. There was uh, right six of them, right two parents and four kids. Mm. Right, the parents were sleeping in a car. All right, and the kids were sleeping in the front room of a house with another family upstairs. All right, so um, right, the college had asked, right, had sent out word that they were looking right, for local tradespeople to work there for a couple of weeks to do up the houses for the refugees. Okay. So I made contact with them and I said I was available to work and I actually had a few other guys who were available to work, but right, I made a... Um, right, a demand and I said would you consider giving half the houses to local Irish and then the other half to Ukrainian refugees yeah and I said absolutely not and not on the agenda no way yeah so that was the switch for me so I got myself a little right a sign made up it was a tricolour and it said shouldn't we house the Irish first and I stood outside Kingston College. And I was there most days for, I don't know, a few weeks or months or whatever. And I just started documenting it. Mm. And I found that there was, right, what I realized was there was huge appetite out there right, for people who would speak out right, against right, what was going on. That there was an awful lot of people who didn't agree with Ireland opening its doors, because at the time we were talking about taking a hundred thousand Ukrainians. That's fucking nuts. And then.